Some groundbreaking Canadian research may have found a new way to help people waiting for life-saving lung transplants. It involves making diseased organs, once disqualified, a viable option. The results will be announced at a global hepatitis summit starting tomorrow, but CTV's medical specialist Avis Favreau has details tonight. These are human lungs infected with a deadly hepatitis C virus. Normally, they'd be discarded, but instead, they're part of a bold experiment. And Stanley DeFritis, who was dying from lung disease, agreed to a transplant with hepatitis C infected lungs. It was troubling, yes. But then, like I say, I had no choice in the matter. Canadian doctors are trying to make use of these diseased organs because of a tragedy unfolding across North America, increasing drug overdose deaths. The victims are often young and many, up to 50%, are infected with hepatitis C. So doctors at Toronto General are taking a new approach. First, they place the infected lungs in this device for six hours to infuse them with nutrients and to lower levels of hepatitis C virus. Then they're transplanted into a patient who in days will invariably become infected with hep C. The patients are then put on 12 weeks of treatment with antiviral drugs to cure them. In 10 lung transplant patients treated so far, it seems to be working. Obviously these are tragic deaths, but at least we would like some good to be able to come out of these deaths. Doctors now plan to test this unusual approach in hepatitis C infected hearts and kidneys with studies to begin later this year. We would estimate uh, an increase of about 30% of our normal donor pool. Yeah. Stanley DeFrita's family, meanwhile, is celebrating his health. Absolutely wonderful. It's a, it's a real miracle and uh, we're really thankful. Breathing better and hepatitis free with lungs that would have been thrown away. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.